Hey, is that... Looks like people from town are headed this way. Any clue who they are? Kato City Guard, I presume. Would you kindly fall back, your highness? Halt! Who goes there? And what business have you on this side of Mount Cotorinth? We mean no harm. We are but travelers wishing to return to the capital. Kato has closed its gates to all outsiders. I strongly suggest you return from whence you came. Now be gone. What? But we just finished our descent. You can't send us right back. Be silent. Either return to the west, or return with us as prisoners. Lest you wish to rot in a cell, I suggest you leave now. Save your breath. The knights of this realm hear naught but the sound of their own voices. What was that? You didn't hear? I said the only weapon these pompous blowhards can wield is hot air. What, what do you think you're doing? Bastard. One does not impugn the city guard without consequence. Victory of cowards! Yo! Excellent warning. Energy level is strong. Impudent knaves! You'll regret this! Guys, they're calling for backup. <sighs> Have we no recourse but to reveal that we're with the crown? Before that, Albert, do you not recognize that armor? I must admit, I never expected to see your face this far west. Uh, Theo! Commander? Well met, Sir Albert Bergholm. Stretching our legs with a jaunt over Galcolemthus, are we? Bergholm? The one from the King's Guard? Yes, the very same. Therefore, I believe an apology is in order. Please, forgive us! Water under the bridge. I must also apologize for my colleague's uncouth behavior. <laughs> I merely showed them all the respect their station commands. As ill-humored and sharp-tongued as always, Maester Felgreed. <laughs> it's a wonder you deign to join hands with anyone at all. But enough small talk. Follow me. My compatriots did speak the truth about Cotton. Please don't go about repeating this to anyone. The rot is taking root here. Do you know the cause of the outbreak in Cotto? A blackguard who is purposefully spreading the disease. Hence why these forces have been mobilized. Purposefully spreading? Correct. Just so happens that as the first townspeople fell ill, rumors of a young woman clad in strange garb began to circulate. She is the reason I'm here. Your companions too are dressed in rather unique attire. All things considered, I can understand why my men were so quick to engage you. A woman in strange garb? Wait, do you mean Chloe? Ah, good to know we may have a new lead. Are we supposed to walk with him or run ahead of him? Well, at any rate, I mean, since we're here. <laughs> Alright, so they won't let me buy anything. Now. You would all accompany me to my office. Now then, you two. Mind introducing yourselves? I believe I'm long overdue an introduction. Well, aren't you self-important? As I have explained before, we are in pursuit of a woman in peculiar garb. And to my eye, it would seem you bear some connection to her. Oh, and what if I did? Then I would take you in for questioning. I should have already done so the moment I laid eyes on you. 
You are too suspicious by half to keep the company of one such as her. Enough of this, cousin! Cousin? cousin? You overstep your bounds. You will treat these two with utmost civility. Someone feels strongly. Do you, Albie? Albie? In truth, we would not have made it nearly this far without their assistance. And can we leave that nickname in the past where it belongs? <laughs> Did not expect that. Even if you say they are to be trusted, who am I to believe otherwise? Hmm, I suppose a maester wouldn't tag along with just anyone. Speaking of your party, am I correct in assuming you're Maester de Forge's daughter? Whoa, you know who I am? I happened to be a member of the Kingsguard when His Majesty visited Delric for your father's funeral. Oh, sorry to be blunt, but who are you exactly? I get that you know Albert and Leticia, but they've never mentioned you before. I am Theo Clemrath, son of Duke Lambert Clemrath, brother to His Majesty the King, cousin to Princess Leticia. Clemrath? Wait, Theo, as in Commander Theo of the Assyrian Naval Forces? Oh, I'm so sorry! There's no need to be, I assure you. Any friend of Albie and Letty's is a friend of mine. However, I can't be friends with those whose names I don't yet know. So, would you care to rectify the situation? I am Raymond Lawrence. And I'm Elena. Well then, Ray, Elena, I think it's high time we got to talking. I'm sure there's much to discuss. If it weren't for Letty, I'd think you'd lost your minds. I know it's crazy, but that woman you're after could be one of my crewmates. And if it is, there's no way she's the source of the rot. Though I'm inclined to believe you, our political situation with the Empire complicates matters. Residents of Baldar Citadel are evacuating in droves. Seeking safe harbor in the capital and Kano. Many suspect that a number of Imperial spies have used this exodus to slip unseen into our lands. The People's Guard is up. Anything outside the norm is viewed askance. So the Commons have seen this woman then? Eyewitness reports claim she was spotted near the Tines. Soon after the encounter, the rot took hold here, to which many and more succumbed. As much as I would like to investigate further, I can't risk it. The mountains are far too dangerous. Is there truly not to be done? Yes, as it stands. We are severely shorthanded. You saw how I was the only one who responded to your commotion with the guards. Well, if you require helping hands... Then you're in luck! Cause you've come to the right people! We'll investigate for you. Of course. Theo, Nina and Elena have made the discovery of the century. They have found a cure for Helgars. What? And it just so happens the herbs we need can be found on that mountain. Commander, I know the place is dangerous, but could you allow us access to the Tynes? Please, cousin. How can I say no? It's not every day Letty thinks to use the word please with me. I would like to offer you something in return, though. Perhaps I can make some headway in the search for your comrade. So, what should I know about her? Well, her name's Chloe Cameras, and she'll probably be dressed like us. What sorcery is this? She's a jumpy one, so no wanted posters or anything like that, got it? As you wish. Likewise, refrain from pulling that trick again. The townspeople are on edge enough as it is. What sorcery is this? You know, he pulls out like a cell phone. Well, then again, you know, back 20 years ago, if you pulled out a cell phone, you'd be like, What sorcery is this? You can look Let's at stuff on a cell phone? When is that possible? 
I mean, we knew it was going to happen one day, because even though the cell phone, well, the Game Boy existed, right? And, of course, they had other gaming systems. Welcome to the... It's just that they were separated at the time. The hell? See, there's these new swords and weapons, but I can't... I don't want to waste my money on them. Maybe this one. Because I think we're using that guy. Maybe some armor, too. At least one armor. Whoa. Alright, it's not every day you get an armor for the girl. Thanks. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably broke soon. Okay, we're using this girl. means this guy we we bought him a weapon all right this girl has nothing I think we're good for now, Welcome but I wanted to see what items I'm missing. There must be an item I'm missing to... Pendants... Potions, Aqua Berry... might be beneficial. Let's get one. Of course, fire. These things might be beneficial too. Water. Thanks. We're all set. Then let's beat feed to Mount Cotterin. They said it was to the north. Seriously doubt the world. I think we get, got everything, right? I just didn't buy the sword for this guy. Because I think that the sword is not worth it. Since this one, this sword has 100 HP. Oh, oh yeah, we need to go. It looms see. over the northern part of Cotterinth. I mean, my HP is low. It would be impossible for me to survive. Do I need to go to the inn and then sleep? Look at the loading. It's just unbelievable. I seriously doubt the woman they saw was Chloe. We need to get to Mount Cotterant and fast. Hail! Hail! The 
heck is this? <laughs> oh, I only have seven thousand dollars, and I spent one thousand three hundred on food. Yep, I'm broke. I'm officially broke. So we gotta go into more battles, get some stuff, get ready for battle, and everything else. Mount Cotterinth, hmm? It looms over the northern part of Cotterinth. Have you ever been, Uncle Midas? It is a veritable treasure trove for medicinal herbs. I have been there once or twice to forage for them. Hey there, in my dress, you believe me, don't you? The enemy is See, I'm totally completely fine in town. Look like the leg starts in battle. There's a legend about these mountains, you know. Has to do with an enchantress and a prince. I'm listening. Telling me we're headed right for some type of cursed mountain? <laughs> it's not really cursed, it's just a story to keep kids away. The mountains here are really dangerous, more dangerous than most. People have come up with all sorts of tall tales about them. Even so, the part about the miasma gives me pause. There may be poisonous flora releasing pollen, or fissures leaking volcanic gases. We should be careful. I think we're good for now.
means we are heading in the right direction. We'll arrive before long. Warning. Energy levels low. Insufficient power. See, something's happening. That's why it's lagging. We're loading the next scene. That's what I think. Or the area. Like, we were fine. It's whenever we went enter a new place, it does that. 